Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general uh, love reading, a uh, singles love reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. Um, so this is, oh, so it's for Scorpio, will my ex come back? Um, so uh, this is gonna be for the rest of April, for the Scorpios that might be entertaining, um, reconciling with an ex or an ex reconciling with you or both of you is wanting reconciliation. So uh, Scorpio, we're going to take a look at what your current views are towards your ex. And then we'll take a look at your ex's current views towards you, what happened between you guys in the past to cause you guys to split. And then um, we'll see if there's going to be a reconciliation. Uh, so before we get started, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscription button and the notification so that you can get... Um, up-to-date content that's being uploaded onto my channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this message. And um, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated with you. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Tell me about um, Scorpio's ex. What are their current views towards Scorpio? How are they currently view viewing Scorpio right now? How do they feel about Scorpio? So um, feel, free, feel free to switch the roles. The roles could be flipped or reversed. So place yourself where you see fit. Take it as it resonates. Um, we have the double here. Double, I was going to say double energy, Capricorn energy here. So you view them as toxic? All right, we have the justice card. Five, no, that's not the five. That's the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Five of Swords, um, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. Mm. I feel like you view them as someone that they like perhaps did something to you and it was unfair or unjust and that caused some sort of ending here because it seems like there was an ending while well, you guys are broken up, yes. And someone walked away from a connection. Eight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely viewing someone here as toxic. Um, someone here that plays mind games, someone that might be emotionally, verbally abusive because I'm feeling like there is a sense of fear here, like you fear this person. Um, so let's see. Get some more messages here. What's going on with this devil card? Devil and the Four of Cups. I feel like you view them as someone that gets bored. I mean, also, this person could be obsessed with you, too. Obsessed with controlling you, perhaps? Tell me about this Four, this Hierophant. Um, eight of Swords. So you feel like there was this sense of feeling trapped. 
I feel like you sort of know that this connection wasn't for you because it wasn't in alignment with who you are as a person. So it was just kind of like far from that. Um, tell me about this Five of Swords. Two of Wands. So I feel like someone here was trying to confuse someone. So I, I feel like you were confused by this person, making you run in many different directions. Yeah, I'm feeling like someone was just confusing someone. Someone was running around with their, like a chicken with their heads cut off. Um, it was, I'm getting like this like very, very like frantic energy here. Um, tell me about this uh, Knight of Cups. You have Justice again. Libra energy. Tell me about this uh, Page of Cups. Eight of Wands. What's going on with this Nine of Swords? And then the King of Pentacles. I feel like you view them as drama. You have the Five of uh, Wands here, Five of Swords. Um, yeah, I feel like this. you view this part, person that doesn't really take responsibility for their actions. They cause a lot of problems, but then they sort of like run away. Um, yeah, so I feel like this person, you know, throws that grenade and then, you know, and then pretends like, you know, they didn't throw the grenade. Um, so it seems like this is like a very stressful situation. It seems like they're trying to communicate with you. Maybe they are communicating with you right now and that could be stressing you out, causing fear and anxiety. Um, we have the Four of Cups being cl uh, clarifying the devil, Hierophant being clarified by the uh, Eight of Swords, um, Five of Swords being clarified by the Two of Wands, Page of Cups being clarified by Justice, Page of Cups being clarified by the um, Eight of Wands, and then we have the Nine of Swords being clarified by the King of Pentacles. All right, let's see what is going on with your ex here. Tell me uh, what Scorpio's ex, what, what their current views are towards Scorpio. How is Scorpio's ex currently viewing Scorpio? How do they feel? Oh, I'm going to put this back in. That was the Knight of Swords. I'm gonna put this back in. Tell me how Scorpio's ex is currently viewing Scorpio. All right. Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, Six of Cups. So they are viewing someone. They they are viewing you as someone that's missing them. The Star, Aquarius energy, Three of Swords. So they're viewing you as someone that has hurt them, or they know that they've hurt you. Um. You have the Emperor here, Aries energy. So there's someone here that's toxic, that's very controlling here. Let's see. You have the full Aries energy. And then the Seven of Wands. They view you as someone that is holding back right now. Um, Cause I, I don't blame you if this is you, um, Scorpio, because it seems like you're scared of someone here. Right, let's 
see what's going on. All right, tell me about the Six of Cups. Six of Cups and Strength. I feel like someone, like, I feel like they're being you as someone that's missing them. But I feel like you probably do miss them uh, to a degree, but you, you don't want to miss them. What's going on with the Star card? The star and the hangman. Hmm. Well, they, they definitely view you as someone that's holding back for sure. I mean, they also could see you as someone that's actually doing the inner work, doing the healing here. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Four of Wands. So they view you as someone that hurt the connection or that they could have hurt the connection here and that they could have hurt you. Hmm. Tell me about the Semper. So this is a twin flame connection here, a karmic connection. You have the King of Swords. Tell me about this fool. Six of Pentacles. Like they're viewing you as someone that's non-committal, that's not giving to this connection. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Six of Wands. I mean, you could be dealing with the master manipulator here, but this is how this person feels about you. I mean, this person could be projecting. So this person could be... Scorpio, you could have been giving to this connection, but this person likes to flip the narrative. So they're trying to make you look bad. You have the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So this person views you as someone that's stressed out, scared, and they're wondering why you're scared. The thing is, this person's scaring you though. It's quite demented. Six of Cups being clarified by the Strength card, the Star being clarified by the Hangman. Three of Swords being clarified by the Four of Wands. The Emperor being clarified by the King of Swords. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's unemotional. That's a, that, that doesn't really care about someone's feelings, Scorpio. But like I said, just feel free to switch the roles. They could be flipped or reversed. So uh, place yourself where you see fit. We have the Six of Pentacles clarifying this Fool and the Seven of Swords, no, Seven of Wands being clarified by the Six of Wands. They view, yeah, they view as someone that's blocking out victory and success of this connection. Um, like I said, this person could, I mean, I feel like someone here is trying to, you know, make things work, you know, make this connection successful, but, you know, and someone's trying to change that narrative and make someone else look bad when someone actually was doing is doing the right thing. Um, what happened here between uh, Scorpio and their ex? What caused the separation here between Scorpio and their ex? One more shuffle. 
Wow, no. So a lot of cards flew out here. Okay, one more shuffle. Oh. Magician. Virgo Gemini energy. All right, we have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. King of Pentacles. So we have the King of Pentacles here. So getting, I'm getting a few masculine energies here. I mean, it doesn't have to be the same sex. I mean, it, it could be a female that has masculine energy. So just place yourself where you see fit. We have a King of Pentacles, a King of Swords, and also an Emperor. But I'm feeling this King of Swords and this Emperor is the same person. All right. Because I'm getting someone here that's a stable, very grounded energy. And then I'm getting another energy that's a very sort of controlling, maybe a bit flighty here. Two of Wands. Five of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. In the moon. Cancer Pisces energy. Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Someone definitely hurt someone here. We have the Page of Swords, Temperance, um, Three of Swords, and the Emperor. So someone might be some someone was really 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 razor sharp with their tongue like someone really used their words to hurt people hurt someone and I, I i'm feeling like someone didn't like to be manipulated here um yeah i'm feeling like this 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 individual got scared of someone um Okay, this one. Let's get some more messages here for you. Tell me about this magician. Oh, I keep dropping them. All right. All right. Let's see. That was the Empress. We'll see if that comes back out. Tell me about the magician here. Tell me about the magician. One more shuffle. Okay, the magician, five of wands. Yeah, someone didn't like to be manipulated. Someone here felt like, someone felt like someone was trying to make someone jealous, trying to compete for someone's love, that sort of thing. You know, this is like, this could have been the narcissistic codependent situation here. Because we have one person maybe that kept surrendering to this other person's needs because someone was scared of someone. Someone was trying to accommodate to someone, even though they didn't feel like accommodating to someone. Like, like I mentioned earlier on, someone felt stuck. Someone felt stuck in a place where it didn't align with someone's core values uh, or who they are. Um, tell me about this King of Pentacles. Three of Swords, yeah. This, yeah, this, this King of Swords does not like to be, uh, um, didn't like what was happening. This King of Swords is, Hurt, yeah, and scared. Tell me about this two, two of wands. Page of Pentacles. What's going on with the Five of Cups? Four of Pentacles. What's going on with the Ace of Pentacles? Queen of Cups. So someone here went off to be with someone else, it feels like. And someone kept that a secret. 
someone left someone for someone else. So someone left a toxic situation to be with someone else. Tell me about the moon. So I could see why this, your ex views you as someone that has hurt them. Oh, all right. Seven of Swords. So there was lies, deception surrounding this connection. Um, all right, we have the Magician here being clarified by the Five of Wands. The King of Pentacles being clarified by the Three of Swords. I feel like you went to someone that was more safe, you know? That was more emotionally stable. Uh, someone that's nurturing. Someone that cares. Um, you have the Page of Pentacles clarifying this Two of Wands. The Five of Cups being clarified by the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like there is this regret of giving giving a lot to someone, but you didn't get get it back in return. I feel like there is this energy of looking back, man, I shouldn't have given to this person. Yeah, I, I do feel like at the same time, maybe while you were in the situation, maybe you were talking to someone else already. And I feel like you went and started a new beginning here with someone else and you hid this from this emperor or this king of swords um so let's see if there's going to be reconciliation i personally i don't think so but we can take a look uh, will there be reconciliation between scorpio and their ex for the rest of april 2021 i mean this queen of cups is scorpio energy here but i'm actually Scorpio, I'm placing you with the King of Pentacles here. So like I said, um, the roles could be flipped or reversed, so feel free to place yourself where you see fit. Take the, these messages as it resonates. And this is a general reading. It's not like a personal reading where I'm tapping into one person's energy. I'm tapping into the collective. So I'm trying to get as many messages as I can to help all of you guys because you know, these messages are not going to resonate with every single person. Not all the messages. So. Alright, will there be reconciliation between Scorpio and their ex? We have the Nine of Wands. I don't think so. High Priestess. Cancer. Pisces energy. The Star. Aquarius energy. We have the Star right there too. We have the Tower which in this deck is called the shadow side. Maybe someone here is refusing to do shadow work. Four of Wands. Queen of Swords. So we have the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords here. All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, no, this one. Yep, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the King to the Queen of Pentacles, King to the Queen of Swords. So I'm feeling like so I'm feeling like this emperor, this king of swords, and this queen of swords is the same person. And I feel like this queen of pentacles and this queen of cups, a uh, queen of pentacles is the same person. The reason why I say that, I, I feel like, yeah, I'm really feeling like there is a, I feel like there are two individuals that has a balance of male and feminine energy, but one person in particular has a bit of a more domineering um, energy, and it's this uh, air energy because they have the emperor over it or under I feel like someone is moving on from this. Someone is going to continue their healing. Someone knows the truth here of, you know, the person that they're dealing with. Um, I do feel as though that someone here kind of can't believe that it's over. Um, well, let's get some messages just to see. Yeah, I do feel like someone left someone to be with someone else. Someone... 
to be with someone that's more emotionally mature, I feel emotionally nurturing, emotionally caring, emotionally safe. Um, I feel like you were dealing with someone who wasn't really emotionally safe for you uh, because I feel like Scorpio, I'm placing you with this pentacle energy, this earth energy. It's a very grounding energy. And, you know, I feel like, you know, a grounding energy needs another grounding energy too. Um, not that, not that you guys can't be with someone who's, you know, unpredictable or exciting, but it's more like you have to be with someone in that sort of energy that is, you know, that has good mor morals and values, you know, that knows what's right and what's wrong. Um, all right, tell me about this high priestess. Tell me about this high priestess here. All right, we have the high priestess and the four of pentacles. Yeah, I just feel like there's a sense of keeping quiet and not really entertaining this anymore. The star and the moon. There's this energy of really keeping to yourself and really trying to work on trusting your intuition here too, I feel. Tell me about this uh, tower. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about this four of wands. There's a sense of healing from this too. Yeah. I feel like there's this energy of also like wishing things would have turned out a different way because I feel like you do have a strong connection towards this individual here, this air energy. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords over the Queen of Swords. So this person could be a bit of a, could be a bit, a bit of a mean, mean person. Yeah. Like I said, th there's this energy of someone using their razor sharp tongue to hurt someone. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles got just got away from someone, ran away from someone because of the hurt here. You know, sometimes the Seven of Swords is not always like lies and deceptions and uh, deception and stuff like that. Sometimes it also means self-preservation, getting away from someone that's hurting you. Um, so Scorpio, this was your general singles love reading. Um, well, I, I don't feel like you're single. It seems like you went with someone else here that's safe. Uh, but uh, will my ex return? If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.